What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another Minecraft base review. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Underground, or what, Millionaire Underground Base. I think this is, yes, Millionaire Underground Base. This is by uh, BBB Studios. I've played one of their maps, I wasn't too impressed, but I will say I'm very much impressed by this one. Uh, it's actually a type of map that uses the basic uh, Minecraft systems. They don't add any textures, but they do so much with this. It's a very functional base, and I love that. One of my biggest things about these, you don't have to add a bunch of crazy textures. Just make sure the base is functional for a nice survival playthrough. That's the whole point of getting this. All right, so the very first thing you enter in, I love how they have a decent working door. It's very nice, nice hidden base out of the way so that if you want to build nearby, you uh, can without worrying about people seeing this base. So this first level is just like you have initial storage so that you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom area for storage. You can quickly, quickly store things here then head back out you can even put your armors that you like to use here I like how they worked in a lot of good decoration in the backgrounds back there again just using all vanilla game stuff which is fine as long as it's functional for me so going down to the second level everything's nice and well lit Again, they don't have any fancy farms, but they have tons of farm here, already ready to go. So you've got food, you've got uh, watermelon, which I'm happy they did watermelon because that's harder to find than pumpkin. You can find pumpkin pretty much anywhere. Watermelon sometimes can be hard, especially if you can't find a jungle. Nether root already ready to go. And you can take this stuff out and replant these farms with other stuff. In fact, they have right here other plants for you to take out and you can use. So again, right here, farm, ready to go. I love it. The only thing I would probably have to put in there is a crafting table. Which I don't mind because everything else is there. Level 3. Storage, enchanting, and... Yes, oh yeah, yeah, smell it. Okay. Again, more storage for armor sets. Here's your smelting area. I like how they actually put a blast furnace in here. So many of these will just put a ton of, of the normal furnaces, which is okay. But it, it makes sense to give us at least one blast furnace. I mean, this is a smelter, and you, you're going to be bringing a lot of ore here. You got an enchanter ready to go. I like what they did here to try to give it a mirror look. I think that's really cool. I like how they did that. That's actually really nice. Again, this is ready to go. I don't know if there's any... The only thing you have to go get is Lampus, but that's okay. Everything else is here and ready to go. You've got... Let's see, is there anything? Okay, so the only thing we have to go get is Blaze Rods. There's, and I don't think there's an ender... Um, um, I don't think there's another portal, so you'll have to make one, but that's okay. You've got everything else you need. Now, here's the cool thing. In here... This is actually a storage area, but you walk across that. Ah. Hang on, what was it? There we go. And it opens up. I think this is cool. I like this. Now you have all your, all this for storage, which is really, 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 really good. 
especially for me, I'm the type of person that builds big, huge things, especially when I'm doing a survival build. So, I need a lot of storage. Then you walk out, and that closes it. That feature I really like. So this area here, this room right here is mostly decoration. It looks cool. Then you have this kitchen area, which you have some cake here that you can eat. And then some furniture to cook food. But there's really nothing else going on in here. Most of this is just decorative, which is okay. You want to give that vibe that this is a functioning base. Let me go up here. I don't mind a lot of decoration as long as your base is still functional. A nice pool area, which I'd probably just use for fishing. <laughs> hey, it's water, guys. That's what you use it for. Fishing. Bear and the bed is usable because they put real beds in the middle. So all you have to do is come to it and push it and you can do it. I'm too far away. Here we go. So I believe this only it, it's that bed's made out of two beds. So, this is kind of like a base that's kind of just for you. That's the only thing. Boy, slimes spawn in here. Which isn't really a bad thing. Slime is actually something you're actually going to use a lot of. And, that's the, and it's really hard sometimes in areas where they spawn to stop them from spawning. Kind of hard. I know, I've had trouble with them in the past for some of my builds. Moving down. Okay, this is just a zombie and skeleton grinder. So get a weapon, decent one, probably one with mending, and you can come down here and you can farm these skeletons. And then on the other side, zombies. You kill them, they drop, end up here. It's not bad. And then if you want to take a look at, make sure everything's working in it, you come up here, hit the leather. So you've got XP farming there, and you can farm some of the stuff there. So if you want to get a nice bow, or some bows without having to go out there and kill spiders and whatnot, boom. Now, there's supposed to be a cow farm here too, but every time I've loaded it in, there hasn't been cows down here. So I don't know if you've got to go get them yourself, are they supposed to be there? I'm not sure. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to get a cow down here. But I, I, I kind of figured there would be some here. Since it says it on the door. But, you know, that's it. Now, the only thing this is missing, but most bases are missing this, is a mine. Uh, a lot of the bases, though, some of the best ones, actually do dig deep down and, and then they'll start a mine for you then you can just go ahead and go do what you want with it uh, but not all of them do but that's okay because right outside of this one in the picture for the uh, for this on the marketplace it shows a two different bases this is like the million dollar base and then it showed like a ten dollar base but well, a ten dollar base is actually here it's right here so what I would do is, I would just make a mine here, like dig down, make your mine, even make your nether portal in this little base here, and then use the big base for everything else. 
Because that's really all you need. All you need is a nether portal and uh, your mine, and that's it. And I'm okay with things needing to be added to it, okay? I'm, I'm not one of those to where, you know, you can never have anything not added. Sometimes the base, it's, they're going to miss stuff. Um, I, I would like for a base to have everything, but sometimes they don't. As long as the base is still a good, functional base, I'll let some things go. Like I said, for this one, uh, you'll have to add a crafting table in a couple of spots, which is nothing. And you have to build your nether, nether portal and then build a mine. That's it, which is, that's okay. That's things you would have to do regardless. Um, and as for the surrounding map, there's no deserts really close. So there's no desert temples. There's no jungle really close. So there's no jungle temples, but the terrain is really, really good for building. There's tons of villages. I think I counted four different damage portals. So, you know, it's not going to be too hard to do the nether build if you want, because one of them was really close to being done around here. But yeah, there's, there's a bunch of those. And if you can see, see how flat the terrain is because it's, it's got a lot of plain biomes. It's got a lot of the redwood forest, which is decently flat. It just has a lot of trees. Uh, got a birchwood, birchwood forest. It's got a lot of flatter terrain except for over here in this area. This is kind of elevated, but over here in this area, a lot of it's flat. That's really good for when you're trying to build like villages for yourself or kingdoms or castles. Stuff like that, that's really cool because it helps with the landscaping. You don't have to level out so much. So I kind of like it. I like the landscape. It's definitely good for building. You've got a lot of different areas for building. So all in all, this is a very nice map that I find very much worth it. I would recommend you definitely picking this up. If you are a base collector like I am, if you like doing survival runs, it really helps. It does take the edge off of having to get so much stuff started like i said you have to go make another portal you have to make a mine but that's okay everything else is here and ready to go so making those things will be a whole lot easier because all you really have to do is focus on getting some diamonds and pretty much you're set and you're ready to go all right guys if you are enjoying these base reviews make sure to leave a like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted every time you make a new one if we're doing a lot the channel is growing quite well soon we'll be doing our first live stream i'm still working on that i was going to try to do it this weekend but it looks like it's going to probably be next weekend um but don't worry i'm going to announce when the first one is so stay tuned for that also take a look at the community tab that's where i'm going to be posting it also on instagram and twitter so make sure you're following us on those as well okay guys Thanks again for watching. I'm Average Arcader, and I'll catch you next video. Take it easy.